More than 60 individuals and organisations have been recognised for supporting the heritage scene. They received the Patron of Heritage Awards for contributing some $3.2 million worth to local causes last year amid the pandemic. Thanks to funds from these patrons, special exhibitions promoting Asian narratives, as well as those supporting local design and art talents, were able to run. Beyond cash, some also donated artefacts and photographs to local heritage institutions. For more on this, we're joined by Peter Lee, whose family contributed over 130 photographs to the Peranakan Museum's collection. Oh, Peter, uh, you have spent decades of your life researching Peranakan heritage. You have built collections, now donating them as well. Well, you're being Peranakan and you're having a love for beautiful things. That cannot explain this sustained passion. So my questions are, why collect? And if you must collect, why in this area? Um, I believe that, you know, photographs are, you know, an incredible resource and uh, one picture tells a, a thousand stories and, you know, putting a photograph collection really um, will provide so many people, I think, in the future, uh, a chance to look at maybe forgotten narratives or, you know, an assortment of narratives. And I think, you know, in compiling history, we need more stories of the past. And, you know, photographs allow us to do this. Peter, you've described yourself in the past as a serial hoarder of collectibles, as your mother was. And you've been very resourceful in finding these uh, items of significance in flea markets, you know, on eBay even. So what struck you as you gathered this collection? What story did it tell? I was discovering that... Um, Every picture told a completely different story. Um, often the photographs would undermine assumptions I had about what it meant to be Pranakan, you know, assumptions I had about identity. And so rather than finding in photography something that would kind of seal or, or kind of ring fence identity, I realized it really brought it into question. And, and therefore it struck me that this is really important. You know, we, we need more narratives, we need more stories to give us different kinds of insi insight into the past. You know, we, we shouldn't see it all through just one lens, but to realize that history is a kaleidoscope um, with, you know, a lot of different ways to look at it. And I think really photographs allow this, and this is what I think is important about this, you know, collecting photographs. Uh, let me pick up on this point you've just made, because you have made it before. So being Puranakan, it's not a simple thing. As you say, you don't want to ring fence an identity. Uh, being Puranakan is many more things than just a few things that you can name on an exclusive exclusive or and or or kind of list. Now, do you think donating photographs as you have done, not just this time around, but thousands in the past as well, how does this contribute to a, more, a fuller picture of what it means to be Puranakan? Well, one of the exciting things about the National Heritage Board is that, um, you know, it has a website where a lot of images are put on digitally. Um, I was excited about the possibility that all these photographs would end up being accessible to not only Singaporeans, but people all over the world. Uh, you know, with the right kind of keywords to capture this, it could be really such a, an important resource. And frankly speaking, I, you know, I'm excited about the idea of... Uh, the, the Pranakan Museum being this sort of really important national, regional and global center for understanding what is Pranakan. And Pranakan as a way of really uh, putting a spotlight on hybridity and also questioning, is it really exclusive to just the Pranakan community or is really mixing things up culturally something which every community goes through? You know, I think these are important questions to ask you know, especially in this day and age. And I think exploring things in this way uh, helps us build networks and connections and see how we share or, uh, you know, have commonalities rather than focusing on history as about, uh, you know, finding what is exclusive about ourselves, you know. I think it really is about sharing and the community. We can certainly do more to connect the dots between uh, the Pranakan culture, 
uh, that rose in this region. There are so many aspects of it, uh, not just in Singapore, but, but around the region as well. But this is very personal for you, isn't it, Peter? What exactly does safeguarding your own heritage mean to you? You know, I, I, I love the fact that, uh, uh, you know, heritage and, uh, you know, we, we call it, uh, you know, um, you know it, it really starts from the family, I believe. You know, uh, we, we need to start by understanding who we are, um, our families and our community. And this gift, in, in a sense, combines all these things. So it's, it's, it honors my parents. It is a gift from my brothers, Dick, John, Andrew, and myself, to remember and honor my parents who were always very generous. It is also about reaching out to the community, about emphasizing the fact that uh, this is a collection of things, not only about Singapore, it, it, it also has images from Malaysia, Indonesia. Um, you know, it really wants to focus on shared heritage and uh, I hope we, we are able to do that and share it with everyone. Oh, thanks so much for all that. Peter Lee, whose family was recognised as part of the Patron of Heritage Awards.